Hi, thanks for checking out our work. I'm Ye Tu, a machine learning engineer from LinkedIn. And this paper of personalized treatment selection using causal heterogeneity is a joint work with my coworkers. As an overview, I will cover those four main topics today. To start with our motivations. Randomized experiment is widely used in the internet industry to measure the metric impact obtained by different treatment variants, such as different machine learning models, parameter value in a recommendation system, and UI components. However, the effect of a given treatment can be heterogeneous across the experimental units. For example, members across the world might react to the same feature differently. After conducting the experiments, we usually identify the treatment variant that performs the best in the entire population and ramp that variant to everyone. We refer this as a global allocation. It's clear that this might be suboptimal. A personalized approach for treatment selection can greatly improve upon the usual global selection. If we want to get close to the optimum, the choice of cohorts would matter. Hence, Choosing these cohorts wisely is one of our main focus areas. Here is a brief summary of the main contribution of our paper. We developed a general framework for selecting optimal treatment variants for members by estimating heterogeneous causal effects and solving an optimization problem. We discussed ways to identify which among the proposed techniques to be chosen for a given application. For technical novelty, we introduced a new merging tree algorithm to handle multiple treatments and metrics. We adopt a multiple cooperative stochastic approximation to solve multi-objective optimization while considering the variance in estimations. We do extensive simulations to show the benefit of using our framework. For real-world application, we describe the infrastructure required to put such a system in production. We show strong positive re results from a large-scale industrial application. Now let's formulate the problem mathematically. Here is a table of notations we will use throughout the paper. J denoted as total number of treatment variants or choices. K denoted as total number of Gario metrics. CI is the ice cohort. GK is a vectorized version of UIJK, which is the causal effect in metric K by treatment variant J in cohort CI. Mu K and sigma K square I is the mean and variance of UK. X is the assignment vector which is also the final treatment allocation we want to solve for. Like k equal to zero denote the mean success metric. We wish to maximize the objective keeping the constraint metrics at a threshold. Formally, we wish to get the optimal x star by solving the following objective. We break down the problem into two stages. First, we identify member cohorts using data from randomized experiment to estimate causal effects UK for each cohort. At a member level setup, while each member represents a cohort, we directly estimate individualized effects. At the second stage, we op optimally allocate treatment variant X star to each member cohort by solving the optimization problem. Now let's look at our proposed methodology. Aligned with the problem breakdown, we will discuss our framework also in two stages. We first begin with how we can estimate heterogeneous causal effects at either cohort or member level. We then describe how we solve the optimization problem to select optimal treatment variants for each member. To start with cohort level heterogeneity estimation, we use the recursive partitioning technique from Althe and Invance to identify the heterogeneous cohorts. This algorithm is usually being referred as causal tree. 
it's on top of a traditional regression tree, while the goal is to predict outcome variable y. So the splitting tree objective is usually mean square error of y. On the other hand, causal tree focuses on estimate treatment effect tau, which is defined as EY1 minus EY0. One and zero are the treatment indicator. The splitting tree objective is then changed to the mean square error of tau plus a variance regularizer. However, causal tree can only handle one objective metric and a binary treatment definition at a time. But in the real life applications, we usually have multiple treatments and metrics as interest. How can we incorporate all those information? One option could be merging the J times K plus one tree models into one single cohort assignment. Simply merging all the trees would fragment the cohorts into very small subsets with extremely noisy estimations. We avoid this unwanted noise by carefully exploiting the within cohort homogeneity of the treatment effect by algorithm one. Algorithm one is a merging trees technique. We sequentially merge the cohort sets SJK to obtain the following set of mutually exclusive and exhaustive cohorts as opt. For each treatment J and each metric K, we retain the estimated treatment effect and its variance from the original cohort. Since each SJK is exhaustive, this provides estimates for all sub-partitions. The detail algorithm is listed on the right. Now let's look at member level heterogeneity. There are many methods that can be used to estimate causal effect at a member level. Some options are causal forest, which is an extension of causal tree, which was inspired by random forest algorithm and use example learning to incorporate results from multiple models. Two-model approach. This is a baseline method that models the causal effect through the difference of predicted response in the treatment and control models. With the estimation um, obtained, we can move on to the optimization stage. To be noted, the problem here is actually stochastic. Since both the objective and the constraint functions are not deterministic, but are coming from a particular distribution such as Gaussian. So we can rewrite our objective as follows. However, we can also simplify the problem using sample average approximation. We replace the stochastic of my of objective and constraints with their empirical sample expectation as follows. Let's first look at how we resolve a stochastic optimization. We adopt multiple cooperative stochastic approximation, which is an iterative algorithm runs at uh, runs for n steps. At each step t, it starts by estimating the constraint function gkt. If all the estimated constraints are less than a threshold, the algorithm choose the gradient to be the gradient of the objective. Otherwise, from the set of violated constraints, it choose one at random and use the gradient of that constraint. The detail algorithm is as follows. Now let's recap. We first run randomized experiment to collect data across various treatment and metrics. Then we generate a cohort level or member level causal effect for the different parameters. We solve the optimization problem, either stochastic or deterministic. In the last step, we return a bias corrected assignment x hat by following algorithm three. Algorithm three used bootstrap to improve the bias and variance estimations to check out the details in section 3.3 .3 of the paper. With the methodology in mind, Let's look at the results. To start with simulation analysis, we leverage same causal R package to generate simulation data sets 
and their self-defined causal deck as follow. We simulate heterogeneity by introducing interaction terms between treatment variable AJ and the heterogeneous variable HM on the outcome variable YK. To evaluate different options we have, we consider the normalized mean of individualized treatment effect as the metric as follow. Due to time limitations, I won't go into the details here. Before looking at the analysis results, let me introduce um, some notations about different um, methods we use. HTST denoted as a heuristic cohort level solution, while the cohorts generated by binding the heterogeneity variable based on their quantile values. It's paired with the stochastic optimization. As you may notice, ST here always stands for stochastic optimization and DT here stands for deterministic optimization. We always pair stochastic optimization with cohort level solution because it's much easier to uh, estimate the variance at a cohort level. So CT here stands for causal tree algorithm. CF is the causal forest model. TM is the two model approach. Global is a best global allocation um, which can serve as a baseline choice. Now let's look at the analysis results. We consider two main scenarios. For the first scenario, we are aligning the effect on the objective with that of the constraint matrix uh, when doing simulation data generation. In this case, there exists a global best allocation. We observe that the cohort level solution with stochastic optimization perform almost at a parity with the Oracle global best. However, the member level estimation with determinist optimization show worse performance due to the high variance. This indicate the benefit of using stochastic optimization. For the second scenario, we consider a more realistic case the objective metrics move possibly in the opposite direction to some constraint metrics for some treatment. In this case, all the proposed personalized approach performs better than global solution. And our personalized solution is outperforming the heuristic solution. With low noise levels, member level solutions performs better than the cohort level solutions. Along with an increase in the noise, CT.ST quickly start to catch up and can outperform the member level solutions. This demonstrates the benefit of heterogeneity estimation and personalization. Now let's look at uh, the application of our framework in notification system at LinkedIn. Notifications are important driver for member visit and engagement for social network. Sending more notifications can increase visits, but it also has negative consequences. It would lead to reduction in click-through rate and increase in members' notification disabled behavior. The system initially had a fixed cap parameter, um, which determines the maximum number of notifications a user can receive in a 24-hour window. And this parameter was set the same for all members. Our goal with introducing personalized volume cap is to maximize visits to LinkedIn with holding the constraints at, uh, at reasonable bounds. We implemented the cohort level solution CTST uh, here because we noticed a high noise level in notification system from past experiments. The heuristic cap A and B are based on a cohort definition while members are grouped into four segments according to their visit frequency, which is one of the most important heterogeneity variable we know beforehand. Our proposed personalized cap treatment showed significant posit positive impact on sessions, while the impact on the constraint metrics remained within acceptable bounds 
It also outperforms the both heuristic solutions. So here are a few no trivial but likely impactful extensions. Due to the time constraints, I won't illuminate them now. If you're interested to reproduce our solution, you can check out our example scripts at the GitHub link here. Here are the reference mentioned in the talk. For more reference, please check out our full paper. Thank you.